All right, uh, the day after Easter, the Monday after Easter this year, the entire time I was driving home from work, uh, I was thinking about making a ham sandwich. <laughs> and that's very true, I was very excited. For some reason, I don't even like ham sandwiches that much, but that day I remember distinctly being like, I can't wait to get home and make a ham sandwich. With leftover ham from Easter, of course, I just wanna <laughs> be clear. Uh, so when I got home, uh, before I made my sandwich, I decided I would throw on some laundry. Now my girlfriend was not home, so I was there alone. I put the laundry in, in the basement, turned it on, went upstairs, started to prepare, uh, to prepare my sandwich. I got the bread out, I got the ham out of the refrigerator, and then I heard a noise that sounded like water spraying. So I was like, all right, there's probably something wrong with the washing machine. I run downstairs, I look at the hoses, everything seems to be fine. No problem, I go back upstairs, get back to attempting to make my sandwich. Seconds later, I mean, it was seconds later, I realized, no, I still hear that sound. It sounds kind of like somebody might be spraying the front door with a hose. So I kind of walk around to the front door, and uh, there's nobody spraying the front door with a hose. That doesn't happen. Um, that's a weird thing to think. Oh, I bet I know what it is. It's somebody spraying the front door with a hose. But that's what my brain did. Um, and so then I realized, no, that sound is coming from upstairs. So I start going up the steps, and um, as I'm going up the steps, I realize, oh, there's a lot of water coming sort of down towards the steps out of the bathroom. Uh, so I run into the bathroom and water is like spraying out like a fire hydrant from underneath the sink. And I don't know a lot about plumbing, but I know this is the time you shut, use the shutoff valve. So I reach down to do that and I realize, well, the thing that fell off is the shutoff valve. <laughs> it's just in a giant pool of water and, and like water is gushing out of the sink bottom as fast as it can, as fast as water can come out of something. Uh, so uh, I realized I gotta get to the basement and shut all the water off. So imagine the entire time I'm cursing through all of this. I've never cursed so much in my life but for like 20 minutes, that's all I did. So I ran all the way down the basement and I get there to shut down all the water to the house. Smart enough to know that's probably what I'm supposed to do next. Uh, as I get down there, the meter is just spinning, just spinning around like that's a lot of money. And um, a little thing about the shutoff valve I should tell you is about two years ago, um, <laughs> the water department came to like replace all of uh, the meters in, in the town. In, uh, I live in Wilmington. And uh, when they did that, the guy was like, I can't install this meter, your pipe is too old. And he shamed me <laughs> into learning how to solder and, uh, and install a shutoff valve so he could then install the, uh, the meter. That's a whole separate story that I think I told here, but it was really embarrassing. But then it was like, all right, I was, I, I became a man uh, after like 18 hours of soldering and YouTube videos. Um, so two years later, I got to test and see if, mm, did I do a good job? Uh, so I pulled and uh, shut the whole thing off and it actually worked and I did not think that would happen and I was amazed by that. So all the water shut off and now I run upstairs with a mop. And at this point, water is still kind of coming out a little bit and there is water everywhere. Like the, the entire bottom of the bathroom probably has like an inch and a half of water and the water is going over the threshold of the bathroom and starting to move towards the, uh, the, um, the bedrooms, which is when I noticed that there's a slope to the, <laughs> the second story of my house and water was starting to go down the stairs. So I start using the mop because you panic a little bit and you think, oh, I'm gonna mop up all this water. First off, when you use a mop that hasn't been used in like eight months, uh, the sponge is completely dry and not useful at all. So there was like, quite a bit of just trying to get that thing to take on water. And that's when I realized, all right, no, I need towels. Because prior to that, I was like, I don't want to mess up the good towels as water is pouring <laughs> on, <laughs> like down the hardwood floor and then onto the carpeted stairs. Um, although not that much water got there. So I cleaned everything up as best I could with the towels. And then it's about six o'clock at night now, 15 minutes after this all started. And I realized I need a plumber because there's no water in the house and I can't turn the water back on because the shutoff valve on the sink, I can't just shut that off. I have to shut off the whole house. So uh, I call my dad, who's uh, old and likes to laugh at me uh, for being a homeowner. Um, and I was like, hey, do you have uh, a 24-hour plumber? So he gives me a number. I call his plumber. This is not 24 hours. Uh, but I left, a, I left a message there. And then I start dialing around to 24-hour plumbers because I need somebody to come tonight. Um, while I'm dialing around to people, the first person I get is like, we can be there at 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'm like, well, that's... It's a different interpretation of 24 hours, but <laughs> I thought that meant somebody would come immediately. Uh, so there's a knock at my door, and it's my dad. Now, he's mostly shown up to just laugh at me, but he's like, oh, what's going on? Let's see what's going on. Um, so he gives me another name of another plumber. I call that person, and he's like, you know what? While you do that, 
there's one place I can go and see. There, it's, it's getting a little late, but uh, maybe I can uh, get somebody. So my dad leaves, and now, this I just have to tell from his perspective, because I wasn't there. He goes to a bar, a bar that he often goes to, <laughs> and he walks into the bar and goes, I need a plumber. <laughs> and then uh, a guy's like, uh, I have a buddy, and calls a friend on his cell phone, gives the cell phone to my dad. Uh, that guy happens to live 10 blocks away from me. Uh, is over at my house along with my dad, probably within 10 minutes. Uh, he's like, he's, he's like an older plumber, so like not a guy who seems to be like doing it that often, but he comes in like, what's going on? Disgusted with me. Just the idea that somehow I let the pipe get to the point where something would snap off like this was completely my fault in his eyes. But nonetheless, it's not the first time I've been pipe shamed in my house. <laughs> I'm referring to the shut off valve incident. <laughs> Um, so he, uh, he comes in and he's like, well, if we can get this one piece off, this shouldn't be a problem. 10 minutes later, he's like, go turn the water back on. So then I go back down to that shutoff valve, which I'm terrified of, because now I'm like, let's see how it works when I turn it back on. And it worked fine. All the water comes back on. Uh, he had replaced the valve. Everything's fine. He's like, man, you are lucky that I had that shutoff valve on my truck. Like, I just happened to have bought an extra one. Uh, for some other job I was doing, and because my house is like from 1937 and old, and he's like, you're just lucky that I have it. And like, that wasn't the only reason I was lucky. I was lucky that my dad went to the bar and found that guy, uh, uh, that that guy lived 10 blocks away from me, and I was lucky that like, right after I put the laundry in, I didn't go outside to like mow the lawn or do anything, because I would not have noticed water just pouring down for another 60 seconds or something. So about, I was, really I was lucky because I wanted a ham sandwich, and that's what kept me there. And about two hours after that whole incident started, I sat down and ate that ham sandwich. And it was delicious. <laughs> Thank you, everybody.